got a particle picture description of the reaction uh, kinetics, for lack of a better phrase, and then we have a series of words describing exactly what happens with the different objects. Uh, but now this time, uh, the students are going to convert this uh, a series of pictures and these words into the actual moving of the objects. So Chris, you were saying? Fire away. Okay. We start with two NA particles that are metal, so they have a charge of zero. And it's in water, so we have water and molecules all around it. And then they bump into each other, and then they attract the H plus, and it loses its plus and gains a minus, so it becomes zero. And this gains a plus and loses a minus, so it becomes positive. And then that becomes a hydroxide. And then again, it happens over here. And then the same thing happens, the gaining and losing. This one gains a negative, this one loses a negative. And then we end up, and that floats away, becomes hydrogen gas. And we end up with two Na positives and two hydroxide ions. And how many hydrogen gases? One. Uh, is there's a couple of things that kind of uh, right off the bat. One is that uh, in stage one, I notice that they've got five magnesiums, and then stage two, three, four, five, all of a sudden four of the magnesiums have disappeared. Uh, explain. Um, well, in stage two through five, we just want to focus on one specific magnesium reacting with the H2Os. Okay, and why did you lay out the blue chips the way you did? To show that the magnesium zero particles were in a solid. Okay, that's beautiful. Um, one of the things... This is what we have. We have magnesium metal burns in air, oxygen, produce magnesium oxide. Mm -hmm. Oxygen, right, is O2. So O2 is a binary compound, right? It will I'm pretty sure it was this class. Somebody asked something like this. Now it comes to you, Chris. Uh, you said if these particles do this and then they rearrange their charges and end up as these particles, I think somebody said, isn't it possible for these particles to do this and then rearrange themselves this way? So the first thing I need to ask is, how many of you see that as being a pretty reasonable question? Show me with your thumbs. Okay, that's great. Now, uh, I'd like to... Concentration. So we talk about uh, concentration, or in other words, amounts, of one side of the equation and amounts of stuff on the other. And then we actually create an overall fraction. And in this case, the overall fraction might look something like this. Well, let's see. It's HF, and this is, I believe, the reactant. So this would be the K, what they call the K eek for this reaction, giving the numbers that I've written down, would be 999998 divided by 2. So you might have a K eek, for example. Uh, and I let's say that's going to work up to about uh, 50,000. Okay, it's 49,999. In the higher order, and that's zero. And it's in water, so we have water and molecules all around it. And then they bump into each other, and then they attract the H plus, and it loses its plus and gains a minus, so it becomes zero. And this gains a plus and loses a minus, so it becomes positive. And then that becomes a hydroxide. And then again, it happens over here. And then the same thing happens, the gaining and losing. This one gains a negative, this one loses a negative. And then we end up, and that floats away, becomes hydrogen gas. And we end up with two Na positives and two hydroxide ions. And how many hydrogen gases? One.